All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. This is going to be a 74LS244. It is an octal buffer and line driver with three state outputs. Now, um, most people never use the word three state output. They call it a tri-state output. Um, just be aware of that. And so we'll talk about what tri-state means, but uh, here is the part. It is octal, so there's eight of these uh, drivers, but uh, they have an enable pin, so there's two groups with enable pins. Now, the part that we have is not that one. That's not the right schematic for it. Let's see. I can find the schematic for it. 240, 244, yeah. Okay. So this is our part. This is the 244. This is a family of them, the 240, 41, 44, 40. Anyway, um, ours are non-inverting, so they are true buffers. They're non-inverting buffers. And then they have a uh, an output enable, which is the, the three-state, tri, the tri-state output. Let's talk about tri-state. Um, let's see here. Let me find another, another picture to talk about. Um, Maybe it's in the back here. Yeah, here we go. All right. So um, there's going to be uh, two transistors, one that pulls up and one that pulls down. And um, that's the way most circuits work. And so one state is low, one state is high, and one state is nothing. Okay. One state is turn off that, this transistor and turn off this transistor. And so that the output just floats. It, it, it just doesn't do anything at all. And that's the tri-state. All right. And it's used so that multiple devices can be using the same wire. So you can have a whole bunch of IO or memory or something, and they can all share one line, like maybe data line zero or data line one. And whenever one is needed to be talking, it's enabled, and then the other one's let loose. So it's a way to share share a bus. Um, the other thing that we can look at here on this schematic is, uh, th these are, what, what, did, what did it say at the front here? It said they were line drivers. So most TTL parts don't drive high very well. They drive low well, but they don't dr drive high very well. This one will drive high as well. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. So. Um, it has a 50 ohm resistor here. I think most TTL parts have something like a 240 ohm, maybe 120 ohm. This one has a 50 ohm resistor, so it's able to pull up really, really well. Um, and we'll be showing that in the circuit I'm going to have. So let's take a look at some specs. Um, so you can see here, uh, the low output current is 24 milliamps. Okay, so it can pull down with 24 milliamps, but it can pull up with 15 milliamps. So that's pretty good. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing in action. All right, so I have the part hooked up and we're gonna be looking at uh, one half of the part. Remember it's four bits and four bits. We'll just be taking a look at one of those. So we have the output uh, hooked up to um, a bunch of LEDs. So if the if the output is high, the LED will be on. If the output is low, the LED will be off. And if the output is tri-stated, the LEDs will also be off. Now, if I enable the part, if I do the output enable, you can see that we have uh, a zero, 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 zero. I mean, a one, 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 one. I'm sorry. I have these wired up so that it's a high, high, high true is high true. So if it's a one, it's it's lit up. So we all have all of these ones, okay? So let's take one of the data lines. I think pin two is a data line or four is a data. We'll use pin four as one of the data lines, okay? Uh, we're outputting it. If I pull that one low, th they're floating high, so that's why we get a high. And you can see that LED is, is not lit now uh, because it's a, in a low straight. If I enable the, the uh, output and then I just move the wire real time, you can see that uh, we can go from a, uh, a high state to a low state on that pin. And on this pin, we can go to a low state. On this pin, we can go to a low state. Yeah. So it's transparent um, when you push the button down. It just enables, enables the output. Okay, that was chip of the day, an LS244. 
uh, octal buffer and line driver with tri-state outputs.